Hey guys, welcome to episode number 456. Today is Friday, so it's Fan Friday, and I wanted to do a very quick video here for the end of the work week, and let you guys know we've had a little miracle in the fish room. Um, as you guys know, I just set up this rack. Yesterday, I found the most pregnant angler female that I could find, tossed her in this breeder box, and today she gave birth. So 24 hours after getting this rack completely set up and running, we've got our first occupants in this um, section of the fry rack. So I think what I'm gonna do is just add on inhabitants in this condo one at a time until we've completely filled this rack and then I'll figure out exactly what I wanna do with it down the line. We got a small crayfish in here. Uh, I just took a few pieces of the uh, plastic plants that I've got hanging around in some of my other tanks to give them a little cover. Uh, I might end up getting some either some guppy grass or uh, probably more likely java moss because there's not a whole lot of light over here and putting some of that in here as well just to give them uh, a little bit more of a live plant to uh, hide in. But there we go guys. We've got little baby endler fry. One thing I love about working with endlers is the fact that the females will not eat the babies. And uh, with guppies, you've basically got a 50-50 shot of the females eating the babies. With endlers, it almost never happens. So here we go. We got about a dozen this time around. Um, usually, I just colony breed these guys, but now that I have these breeder boxes going, I might do some selective breeding on them. So there's the female. She's probably just about done giving birth at this point. And we got some little babies. So tomorrow, when I'm sure that she's done, I'll pull her back out and I'll leave the fry in here to grow out. We got the little sponge up here to make sure that they stay in place in their little breeder box. And it will be very easy to feed these guys three or four times a day with live baby brine shrimp and crushed flake food. Um, I am foregoing the turkey baster at the moment because it's too long, as I talked about in my previous video. And the thing that I found works the quickest for right now is just a piece of airline tubing. And I can siphon that into a small jar and then I can dump the wastewater in my waste line right over there. So it takes about 30 seconds to siphon the bottom of one of these things out. Uh, the ones that are empty, I'm just gonna let them get filthy and uh, right before I end up using them, I'll just clean them out and uh, set them up so that they're good to go. But anyways, guys, that's the little Friday afternoon miracle. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great weekend and I'll see you guys later.